live from Sawmill Road in Salem Township, Hamlin, Pennsylvania. It's a hot summer day edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. All right, everyone. This this is what I've got to rant about today. And it's not a current rant either. So you got to bear with me. Just like the way Walmart and retail screws up the seasons, so will I. This is a redo of a rant I tried doing, tried posting from a while back in regards to Christmas time and Christmas trees. But why not? It's July. Why not have Christmas in July? After all, friggin' Walmart will have Christmas trees up in two weeks. So, here we go. Reverse back a while back to December. Now here's the thing about Christmas trees, and I mean artificial Christmas trees, okay? Like the ones you find at Walmart and stuff like that. What is it with these things? Remember, you remember when you were a kid, Christmas trees were big and full? Remember that? You had a seven foot tree, the base of it was several feet wide as well. You could turn around and basically hide a whole family of cats inside your Christmas tree. But lo and behold, thanks to places like Walmart, not anymore. That's right, people. What do you get to have now? You walk into the stores, and what you have now is anorexic Christmas trees. That's what they are. I guess we have to be, like, politically correct. You know, after all, Americans are obese. Our Christmas trees shouldn't be obese. You walk into Walmart and you, you see something like a nine foot Christmas tree that's only like three feet wide. A friggin' model on the runway is fatter than some of these Christmas trees. It's pathetic. And the prices that they're charging for these pathetic little things. I'm serious. My granddaughter, when she was in kindergarten, probably made a better stick figure Christmas tree that was fatter and fuller than these pieces of shit. God honest truth. Everything, even the little ones, even the little ones are anorexic looking. And the branches, the branches are so pathetic. Really pathetic. Why, now I know why Walmart and Kmart sells these big ass Christmas balls. You know why? Because they'll actually fit in between the gaping gaps on your Christmas tree in between the branches because these things are not full at all. You can take your kid and stick their head into the Christmas tree. It'll fit. They won't get pinched. It's amazing. But the prices have gone up ridiculously for these skinny anorexic pieces of shit. Why? Don't understand it. And even the small ones, the best are the really tiny Christmas trees. They have like go to Walmart, Kmart, Target, these cute little trees for people that live in apartments or things like that. Maybe you don't have a lot of space, you know, to have a Christmas tree. And so you're not going to go out and spend $100 for, you know, one of those big anorexic ones. Well, fuck you. You're going to spend $100 anyway for this little anorexic tree that's only like two feet tall. It's amazing. Even the little anorexic tiny ones are outrageously ridiculously high. Why? There's nothing there. A freaking Charlie Brown Christmas tree is a lot fuller than these things are. Pathetic. Don't believe me? Go pick up a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Put it next to one of these. Oh my God, they're anorexic. And just like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree, the branches are so thin and skinny you try putting too many decorations on, the whole thing will flop right over. Unbelievable. And we go out and we still buy these pieces of shit. Like, I bought another create another Christmas tree a couple years ago. Walmart had a markdown after Christmas. Figured, okay, they wanted a white Christmas tree. We'll treat ourselves to a white Christmas tree. It looks really nice on the box. This past Christmas, open it up. Fuck you. It was an anorexic piece of shit. God forbid it looks like what the goddamn picture shows on the friggin' box. No, that one was on friggin' steroids. The one they took the picture of. 
They superimposed an image of two of them together on top of one to make it appear fuller. And why? They do that on purpose because, after all, you open it up, put it together, it looks like a pathetic piece of shit. First of all, you're not going to take it down to bring it back. And secondly, they ain't going to take it back because it's a seasonal piece of merchandise. Bring back real freaking Christmas trees. You want a real Christmas tree? If you live in the area, go down to Jerry's in Dunmore. Good God, those trees are so freaking realistic, unbelievable. You could plant them in your freaking yard. They look more beautiful than the trees that are already in your yard. But so is the goddamn price tag. No joke, no shit. Trees, Christmas trees, three, four, five hundred dollars. I've even seen Christmas trees for eight hundred dollars. Who in the hell would spend eight hundred dollars on a fake freaking Christmas tree? Unbelievable. But after all, it's because it's Christmas and money's no object. We all go in debt out the yin yang, so why not go in debt for our freaking trees at Christmas time? And let's not get into what it costs if you want decent decorations. Oh my God, you want some gar First of all, I don't know who uses garland anymore. You want some garland on your tree? Forget about it. Pipe cleaners are fuller than these pieces of shit that they sell. Unbelievable. Well, that concludes this segment of Christmas in July and ranting about Christmas trees. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.